For more than a decade, the IRGC's space program operated almost entirely in secret at the Sharad site, unlike Iran's other space program, which was run by the Iranian Space Agency. In April 2020, the IRGC superproject made its public debut with the successful launch of the gas ed Space Launcher and the placement of a military satellite into Earth's LEO orbit. The gas ed Space Launcher is a three-stage rocket, with the first stage powered by a liquid propellant and the other stages by solid propellant engines. Later, the commander of IRGC Aerospace Force, Amir Ali Hajizada, clearly stated that the launch of Gaz Ed was only a prelude. The gas had relied on liquid fuel engine, borrowed from the Qatar missile, for its initial launch both to cut costs and to reduce the risk of failure. Sardar Hajizada promised that future versions of space launch vehicle Gaz Ed will use solid fuel for the first stage. Finally, the IRGC's all-solid space launcher, SLV, Q100, was suborbital tested in November 2022. This SLV has the ability to transfer 80 kg payload to a 500 km orbit from the surface of the Earth. In recent years, based on a detailed and calculated roadmap, Iran has been able to produce advanced solid fuel engines, an example of which was the modern raw face solid fuel motor in the first stage of Q100, which produces a thrust of 68 tons. This motor plays a pivotal role in the IRGC's space and intercontinental ballistic missile program. The second and third stages of the Q100 SLV are Salman's solid fuel motor and another high-tech unknown solid fuel motor. The RAFE engine uses advanced technologies including a moving nozzle, carbon fiber composite casing and engine and high-energy density solid fuel. The use of a moving nozzle eliminates the need for jet vanes to redirect exhaust gases to steer the rocket. As a result, thrust won't decrease. The all-composite fuselage and engine significantly reduce the dead weight of the rocket, increasing the payload or range of a potential missile. In addition, the modern solid propellant used in Rafe generate more thrust than previous generation propellants. These Iranian-made solid fuel engines can be used to produce all types of long-range ballistic missiles. Depending on the order and the number of engines used, a 300 kg payload can reach a range of over 10,000 km. This type of payload can only be nuclear which shows that if Iran decides to build nuclear weapons, it already has a capable nuclear delivery system. The ballistic missiles that can be produced with these engines can be a single-stage missile using only one RAFE engine, or a two-stage missile using one RAFE engine and one Salman engine, or a three-stage missile using one RAFE engine and two Salman engines or two consecutive RAFE engines. According to recent reports, Iran has even developed another new solid-fuel engine for the second stage of a space launch vehicle, designated Q105 for which no information is currently available. Considering this new engine, a two-stage tactical intercontinental ballistic missile with RAFE and this new solid fuel engine is possible. For example, Iran's RAFE tactical intercontinental ballistic missile can be compared with the American MGM-134 Midgetman intercontinental missile from the 1990s. This American missile was a lightweight three-stage solid-fuel intercontinental ballistic missile with a range of 11,000 kilometers that could carry a nuclear payload with a yield of up to 475 kilotons of TNT and was meant to be fired from a portable canister. This missile was born out of the need to enable a second nuclear attack on the former Soviet Union, as U.S. nuclear silos were in danger of being destroyed in a series of massive strikes using the increased accuracy of Soviet submarine-launched ballistic missiles. Moreover, in those years the Soviet Union had mobile missiles such as the SS-25 on a launcher and the SS-24, which could be carried on trains. Therefore, the Americans were forced to build Midgetman at that time. The use of the RAFE engine in various missiles gives the Iranians several operational capabilities, for example, a single-stage missile with the RAFE engine with parameters such as a total weight of 15,000 kg, a specific impulse of 250 seconds, burn time of 65 seconds, 
structural ratio of 0.077 and launch angle of 36 degrees can carry a payload of 300 kilograms up to 4,500 kilometers. In other words, assuming that the payload is nuclear, Diego Garcia strategic U.S. base in the Indian Ocean is then completely within the range of such a single-stage super-tactical solid-fuel nuclear missile from the south of Iran. Such a missile with a 300 kg warhead has an apogee of more than 900 km and speed of 5.46 km per second when returning to the Earth's atmosphere at an altitude of 100 km and it will take 19 minutes to hit the target. With the same parameters, the range of a Rafe missile with 500, 1,000 and 1,500 kg warhead is 3,900. 2,800 and 2,200 kilometers, respectively. In all cases, the missile tilts from 90 degrees to an angle of 36 degrees. Rafe with a diameter of 1.25 meter and a warhead of 1,500 kilogram formed as a missile with a total length of approximately 11 meters and total weight of 16.5 tons performs better than the ballistic liquid propellant missile Karamchar with a weight of about 20 tons a diameter of 1.5 meter and a length of 13 meters, a highly complex and expensive engine. Now, if all the other parameters are kept, but the structure ratio is assumed to be 0.09 or 9%, which is rather conservative, the range of such a missile with 300, 500, 1,000 and 1,500 kilogram warhead is 3,800, 3,300, 2,500 and 2,000 kilometers, respectively. Therefore, such a missile can carry a 1.5-ton warhead over a range of at least 2,000 kilometers, like the Karamshar, but with much better missile advantages than the Karamshar. If Rafe with a structure ratio of 9% and Salman engine with a structure ratio of 14.5% are used in the form of a two-stage ballistic missile, the range of the missile will be 9,400 kilometers for a 300 kilograms warhead. A single-stage missile with Rafe engine can also be used for delivering super-heavy warheads. For example, such a powerful engine with dimension parameters such as structural ratio of 0.09 can carry 3 and 6 tons heavy warheads up to 1,200 and 600 kilometers, respectively. This means that hardened structures will suffer severe damages. North Korea had earlier unveiled a heavy three-ton warhead of a short-range solid-fuel missile in a test. Rafay can also be used as a booster for hypersonic warheads. Iran recently announced that it has built and tested a type of hypersonic glider capable of maneuvering outside and inside the Earth's atmosphere. Of course, other lighter boosters can be used for hypersonic glider warheads. Also, with this engine and in general the Space Launch Vehicle Q100 with the ability to carry an 80 kg payload into an orbit of 500 km from the Earth's surface an anti-space weapon became possible, meaning that the IRGC has also acquired anti-satellite missiles to ensure the security of Iran's space. Therefore, spy satellites which are the backbone of attacks on countries, are under serious threat in space. Destroying the satellites will be key in a massive war. In this image the anti-satellite missile of India is shown. World powers have put dealing with satellites on their agenda for years, and with SLVQ-100, Iran's acquisition of anti-satellite missiles became practically possible. Thanks for your attention, and see you next time.